outside of I-20 right now because somebody ran Robert off the road. 26 by 14 forces, cleanest single cab in the world. 28 inch wheels, gotta be at least a $200,000 setup. Are y'all working on it in the gas station parking lot? Because it's a diesel. Oh, and we haven't even made it to the show yet. guys welcome back to the channel today is gonna be a long day it's gonna be a long day it's already 8 15 or 8 30 and i got uh What's i got up? i got people at my house already which is which is fine of course and you know, bring the people through but we're headed to a show today we're gonna meet up with some people i'm gonna be filming two or three videos over the next couple of uh the goal is to meet up with the guys in conyers we got some team billet guys we're meeting up with and we got a couple other people we're meeting up with and that'll be just watch the video it's gonna be a good time today but first but first, I don't think you guys have gotten a true, true cold start of the axle dump. Actually, I should, let's put the bucket on this. True axle dump with the bucket. I actually got off the uh, phone this morning with a subscriber. He's going to send me a three to four inch inlet outlet for the exhaust. Because a lot of the big tips that I want aren't three inch to something it's always four inch to eight inch or four inch to ten inch whatever it is so we can weld in the three to four and then we can put we can put some something big on it we can put something big. but here we go it's the axle dump with the uh home depot exhaust bucket that pog God, man. Damn. i love that that sounds so good though um i guess really there's nothing much we're gonna stop by starbucks we're gonna get some gas and I'll see you guys when we get to Conyers. Just pulled up, made it to the made it to the gas station. Quick little rundown for you guys. We got the Tahoe with the wheel lights on. Got the old shit box with the wheel lights on. And the Hummer. With the halos not on. Okay, all right, halos aren't on. Got a clean little round body over here. Little round body with the nittos, hell yeah. Y'all remember my boy from the other day with the Amani Forged. Still one of the cleanest trucks I've ever seen. I love this truck. You guys definitely need to go check out that video. This truck is stupid clean. I mean, literally just everything. Everything is done on this truck. The Amani Fords, 26s, everything color matched. He's got the, uh, got the sound bars underneath. Love this damn thing. Team Billet, shout out. Got the boys over here. When we were getting the wheel lights done the other night, I didn't realize how wide this this uh, this Cummins was the other day. What do we got? These. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Y'all know y'all know I'm a hostile fan. So I'm, I'm fucking with the hostiles. We got the 33, 14, 50, 22 Venoms. But this thing, look at, look at the, look at the poke. Oh shit. Poke on this thing. Hell yeah. So last year Clean and simple. I like it. I like it. My oh, boy Brian bought, brought the Jeep out. 2214 fuels on the on the nittos a little clean single cab with the halos whatever the hell this big thing is i like it though wherever you at brian it looks good so for those of you that don't know brian is the guy that did the wheel lights on my truck and did the wheel lights on the tahoe and he is also mainly an audio guy which is why he's got uh, all of this crap back here so if you guys need any audio or lighting done on your truck and you guys are in the uh, Atlanta area, make sure to hit up Brian at Elevate Audio. I'm gonna put it in the video right here. Go check him out, show him some love. He does great work. He is a perfectionist. I am not, but it's good that he is because he gets stuff done right the first time. Oh yeah, he's team Billet too, so he's with them. Stupid clean, That's, look how wide these wheels are. Holy crap. Look how wide those are. Those have gotta be at least 16 wides on the back of that thing. 
Super clean S10. Team Billet, shout out. Dang. This is giving me some ideas. Giving me some ideas, I'm telling you. Damn, I like that. Probably the cleanest truck I've ever seen in my entire life. We got 2020 Duramax Denali HD. Make sure you guys go follow my man on Instagram. Literally, just like the red truck that's sitting over there, everything on this truck has been done. Every bit of it. We got the probably at least a 10 to 12 inch FTS kit on it with the reservoir shocks up top. Color match everything underneath. Matching track bars under there, or I guess those would be, this might be, no, yeah, it'd be the torsion bars. Man, this thing, and then we got some, uh, what we got here? Some 26 by 14 forces with the custom Roadshow center caps. We got the milled accents on the spike lug nuts, if y'all can see that. That's one of the coolest things I've seen on a truck is the milled accents. Those are actually true spike lug nuts, so you guys can buy those too. But everybody loves a good set of 26 inch forces with the 37 inch Furies. I mean, this is just such a clean freaking truck. We got, I love the white and the blue. So we got bullet antenna. Which, how y'all how y'all feel about these tow mirrors on these new trucks? I'm kind of liking it, especially once you can see it color matched. I, I'm kind of I'm kind of liking it. But we got the color matched headlights up front. I mean, literally just one of the cleanest trucks. Got the traction bars on the back. Look at the ooh, we got a, a TSO tip back there. We got the matching chrome reservoir shocks in the back. FTS polished drive shaft. Looks like we got a pretty nice little, uh, pretty nice little train horn set up under here too. Wheel lights all the way around. I mean, if you guys are looking for the pinnacle, 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 whatever you want to call it, of lifted trucks, this is definitely it. Definitely it. Man, this thing is just stupid clean. And on the trailer right behind him, we've got the cleanest single cab in the world. Probably 2018, 2019. Silver with the aftermarket color matte headlights. We got some 28 inch wheels on here. I mean, literally this single cab is just, if you guys can see in the, every little bit of this, it's, I'm sure it was frame off because that frame looks perfect. Upper control arms, color matched everything. But the wheels though, <laughs> look at the wheels, look at the wheels. That's so crazy. Yeah, what is it, tubbed and notched in the back. Team Billet guys, of course. Got the logo on the front, logo on the back. I mean, this this truck right here just, I mean, this is just stupid clean. This setup right here has got to be at least a $200,000 setup, if not more. $250,000, $200,000 setup. I mean, this is ridiculous. I love it. Fucking boys showed up. Oh hell. What's up? Oh hell. Oh hell. What's up? What's up? Oh wow. Wow. How you doing? What's up? Where'd Robert go? Robert! Where's Robert? Where'd he go? Huh? Hey! Hey! Oh, we got all kinds of people here now. Are y'all working on it in the gas station parking lot? Yeah, we blew the boosty boot. You blew the... Yeah. Because it's a diesel. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. yeah, that's not good. Yeah, so that's when I'm fixing it. That's not good, okay. Well, starting the morning off on a good note then, right? Yeah, just don't look at my wiring mess. <laughs> Give you guys one more good look before we head out to the show. 2020, 26s, 37s, and the most beautiful single cab I've ever seen in my life. It's given me so many ideas, so much inspiration. Oh, I'm so freaking excited. Whoa, we got one more. Ooh. You would think that the truck meets at the gas station today. Oh yeah. What? <laughs> no, you can't have some of my beer. Right I'm not now. washing your truck right now. I am not washing your truck right now. It's not happening. Nope. Y'all remember my boy? I washed my truck this morning. 
Oh, you, you actually washed it. it oh, and then. Now it's dirty again. Oh, it looks. You, washed it you know, I didn't wash mine, and mine's dirty. So, hey, Tom, hey, Tom, who had the better idea here? What happened last night? So we're at our high school, oh, and oh, no. so we go. There's like an off. There's an off-roading trail. And we go back there to just like turn around, mess around. It's whatever. just it's a we were, one in, one out. We were so we like, were back there for five minutes. We come back out, it was completely different. We were like, "What the heck is wrong?" Tree fell. We had to cut out onto the highwood. In through the woods, cut through trees, cut through a chain yes. link fence. Yes. Oh hell yeah! Highway. Oh, you cut, you cut through a chain link fence. Yes. Yes. <laughs> These boys know how to live. Dude, what are the odds of a tree falling? The two minutes that I go in there, like, and let me hear this straight pipe real quick. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh my God, that scared me. Don't do it. Oh, look at the GMC. Dang, this thing is clean. Tough 24s, the GMC. What kind of lift kit we got? With the FTS. Stupid clean. I definitely like the Silverado's better than the GMC's, but this still, it's, I mean, that's stupid clean. You shout out to Roadshow. I think he's with them, but love it, love it. And we got lifted trucks all over the place. Dang. All over the place with the wide Silverado's. STT Pros. Can't forget the, ooh. Ooh, okay. I like, okay, all right. All right, guys. Well, I'm putting on my spike lug nuts from the other night because I didn't feel like freezing my ass off at 12:30. So you get, you know what? I'm freezing my ass off at about 10:30 now. Still putting my spike lug nuts back on. But I hope you guys enjoyed the content today. Beautiful trucks up here at the gas station, and we haven't even made it to the fucking show yet. Haven't even made it to the show yet. Fuck you, me. <laughs> it's gonna be a good ass day. I'm having to split it up into multiple videos because there's just so much content. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see the video of the Toys for Tot truck meet, make sure you guys stay tuned. Check on it. Hit that little box to, to hit the video tomorrow when the notification pops up. And I will see you guys later. Let's get this fucking bread. Well guys, this is how we start off the start off the trip. We're on the the side of side of I-20 right now because um, somebody ran Robert off the road, and I had to literally. So I'm I'm driving down I'm driving down 20, and I look in my side view mirror, and I see the white Kia, which is right over there. I see the I see the white Kia go into the ditch. I'm like, oh, and then I get a call. I thought it was one of our guys back there that went off with him, and I wasn't sure. So I whipped a donut into the into the median and. You know, hopped across the interstate to come back this way and make sure he's all right. I mean, he still looks. I'm pretty sure he, he still looks change. beautiful. He's still cute. His, and actually, his fine, truck, the the truck is actually fine. That car ran him off the road, and the truck's actually fine. So, huge win for the day. But uh, you know, definitely a very interesting way to start off the Toys for Tot show trip. I mean, thank thank God everybody's okay. I guess I've been saying my prayers at night, and and uh, Robert has too. So, thankfully everybody's okay. I'm sure they're okay over there. You know, the car a little beat up a little bit, but. Um, Time to get back on the road and uh, see if we can make it to the show.